What's going on everybody? Welcome to the hot tag with your girl Izzy. Today I am so excited to be talking about Sirius Sports Entertainment with their very own promoter. She is known as the alpha female. She is the one and only Jazzy Gabbert. How are you? I'm so excited to have you on. Hi, thank you for having me. Hey everybody. Of course. <laughs> yes, this is so exciting and this is the second time I've had you on the show. Last time I interviewed, I want to say it was last year in February, so a lot has changed, you know, new year, new you. How has the new year been treating you so far? Uh, so far, it's so good. You know, like it started, you know, with the whole corona with the pandemic and everything it was really frustrating so I had also like a really quiet new year um mm -hmm. since we last spoke I got a little puppy now so I have a little dog <laughs> so she's the love of my life <laughs> so I spent uh <laughs> I spent the, the night with her you know like usually she goes to bed at like 10 p.m but I woke her up I said hey it's a new year let's celebrate <laughs> and then we went back to bed like at one o'clock so it was super boring but filled with love <laughs> oh that's so sweet yeah new year's is compared to last year i feel like for me new year's is like so anticlimactic because we were coming out of 2020 and everybody was so excited for 2020 to be over so when 2021 started i was like okay what's next what's gonna happen is another pandemic gonna happen but i'm so glad that your 2022 has been starting off well and the main reason why we're here is to talk about serious sports entertainment, which will be arriving in the pro wrestling industry very soon. Why don't you tell the hot tag viewers a little bit about it, how it came into fruition, and who we might even see on this show? So many questions. <laughs> so finally, um, it's four weeks to go, and till now, it looks pretty good that we can actually do the event. Um, the corona cases are, again, really up right now here even we have like all these restrictions so i don't know what's going on um i have a lot of restrictions for example i only can sell out 50 percent of the arena which really sucks but it is what it is um i also have like the two g's that means uh you have to be um uh, injected like a uh, vaccination yeah. or you have to be healthy i think like you got it and then you're healthy again i don't know what's in english sorry um but yeah but other than that like i booked everything like from my terms we can start tomorrow you know um yeah but now they closed the border in austria which really is annoying because i have three wrestlers coming from austria oh. um so i don't know if they can appear on the show um but fingers crossed it's still four weeks to go so i have high hopes last time actually uh, in two, 2020 they canceled like one day before so you have no idea i was so upset but this time i'm like every day calling um you know like the office where they have to do you know the, the the loss and they said they don't think that everything will be shut down so cross fingers on 20 like february 20 that i will have finally my own show because i'm preparing since two years i get seen up my goodness. head is exploding oh, <laughs> so that, yeah that's i such, really that's crazy and I, i'm sure this is going to be a huge deal i'm so excited to be watching it on fight tv correct it's going to be on fight yes we're still on Fight TV and it's so funny, like the, the guy I'm talking to, he's also German and I asked him, like, you know, like that was like two years ago that we spoke. So I asked him, hey, can I still be on? And he's like, of course, you're my German girl and I will support you. So I'm really looking forward so we can stream it around the world. It will cost only like 10 dollars, so it's not that much. And you really can support me with this way um, because if you guys watch it and you like it and give me also critic, you know, like you can also say what you don't like. Um, therefore I can do another show and another and another. <laughs> so I hope you really like it. It's going to be totally different. So it's nothing like you see on TV. It's not like WWE or AEW. It's uh, some people also know from Jeremy WXW or the GWF. It's nothing like this. And I, you see already here in the background, I have like this, uh king queen um throne you say right um it's going to be royal and it's going to be like a musical you know like i have dancers there i have a live band there um I have a lot of lights and everything will be golden uh, and i have a very special outfit because i'm an alien now i don't know if you heard about it oh. <laughs> i'm not from this earth anymore <laughs> 
So yes, I'm super excited. I have really great, amazing guys on the show. Unfortunately, we only could go, you know, like from Europe, like mm -hmm. we didn't go from England or from America, which they really wanted to do, but it was just not safe enough. And, you know, health is first um, and, you know, you don't want to carry the virus around, so you never know. So I only um, booked people who can come by car and can go to quarantine after or before if something really happens. Yeah, and you actually just answered my next question, you know, what sets Serious Sports Entertainment up from all the other promotions. And I'm really excited. You said it's going to be like a musical. You're going to have dancers. You're going to have your special outfits if you are an alien. Like, I'm pretty hyped for this. I always look forward to when new promotions emerge because it's, you know, it's a big deal. The wrestling industry is packed right now with newer promotions. And you also, you speak mm -hmm. so passionately about Serious Sports <laughs> Entertainment. I really love to hear that. And I'm sure it took a lot of time and effort to make this idea and dream come to light. So what is going to be the payoff of Serious Sports Entertainment after the blood, sweat, and tears that was truly put into it? Absolutely. Um, you know, like, it's, it's I, maybe I will write about it or maybe do like a little documentary, but it was so difficult. Like, I mean, of course, there's the pandemic, but also because of two years later, right? People bought tickets and now they're writing me, for example, that was quite funny, but also sad. So there's a person writing me, hey, can I give the tickets back? Because I bought the tickets when my son was 16, but now he's 18 and not interested in wrestling anymore. And I'm like, oh no, that's so uh, unfortunate. Um, oh yeah, like... Yeah, it's crazy. Like, for example, the, the dancers, the original dancers I wanted to have for my show, they had to cancel me also because they have their own show now. So I had to find new ones. Um, but in the end of the day, you know, I think it's like a puzzle. And that's what makes me personally so interested in this whole promoting game. It's so much challenge, you know, and you have to think quick, you know, like also with the wrestlers now. So I have to I do everything by myself, you know, like edit, editing the videos and booking everyone and taking a look at the money that everything, you know, and booking the hotel, like everything. So that's such a big challenge. And it's so interesting. Like I want to be number one one day. So <laughs> zero spots entertainment has to go to the top, but I can't do it without you guys. Like Izzy, I'm so thankful that I can be here on your show, promote my show uh, in America. And yeah, I hope that my American fans, like unfortunately I can wrestle that day because I have my shoulder injured. Oh, yes. um, but in the future, I will I will step back in the ring and I will give Zerios everything the people want. So yeah, oh, my please I watch my show. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so hyped for Serious Sports Entertainment. And that leads me into my final and next question. You know, we talk about Serious Sports Entertainment, who we can see on the show. Why do fans have to tune into Serious Sports Entertainment on Fight TV? Floor is sure, my friend. Give it, give it to the hot tag fans. <laughs> <laughs> Why you have to tune in? Easy. Because if you miss out, you miss so badly out. Everyone will talk about it and you can because you didn't saw it. So you need to tune in and you have to witness yourself what I the crazy German is putting together and I promised you it's not, nothing like you saw before and it will be entertaining there will be heavy metal there will be sexy dancers there will be cool action like we have like the top stars from Europe Christian Aja he was in WWE and John Klinger he's like yeah, he's like the hot deal in Germany and Europe. Um, they say to him, he's the dangerous man in Europe. You have to check it out to see yourself. So tune in to fight on February 20. Yes, everybody <laughs> go tune into Serious Sports Entertainment on Fight TV, February 20th. It's going to be a huge deal. And Jazzy, I really appreciate you coming on the show today to be able to talk about Serious Sports Entertainment. This was so much fun. And I'm so looking forward to the show and congratulations on everything. Thank you. <laughs> of course. And thank you guys for tuning into this episode of The Hot Tag with your girl Izzy and Jazzy Gabbert. We will see you guys next time. Bye.